Okay, guys, let's go on with a couple of additional uh, empathy questions. Uh, keep in mind that on the previous video, right at the end, I had this chart where I had additional questions. There's a, a mistake that's there. Uh, the four-aught aluminum was, uh, was incorrect. So this was the chart that was given, and these are the answers here. Uh, the answer was 205 amps for here. Other question that came up was uh, the 350 Casey Mill. Careful with that one because um, it's not a conduit installation, it's a free air installation. So not sure what I was smoking here. It's, I mean, it, you can see how easy it is to make mistakes. I had copied and pasted a previous chart and, uh, and put the incorrect answers in there. So uh, let's move on to next questions, guys. So we got uh, next one with multiple installation ratings in the same conduit. So. On all the, pre all the pre previous video, we had the exact same um, gauge of wire and exact same uh, insulation reading. So let's look at multiple insulation readings in the same conduit, um, keeping in mind that this has nothing to do with the 80% rule, and this has nothing to do with the fact that um, most terminations are either 60 or 75 degree termination readings. So we're gonna get to that rule in the next video. So we're still saying that they're assumed not to terminate within 1.2 meters of any equipment. We're just looking at the maximum opacity of these conductors. But keep in mind that most terminations are probably 75 degrees. So you're not going to be able to use the 90 degree column there. Okay, let's move ahead with these guys. Multiple insulation ratings in the same conduit. Uh, we got uh, three number 10s. They're T90 insulation. They're copper conductors. And then we also have another three number 12 conductors, but they're going to be TW75 insulation. Uh, they're, they're copper conductors, both the T90s and the TW75s have 600 volt ratings. They're going to be run in EMT conduit, so we're going to be looking at table two. And uh, we're not going to worry about the ambient temperature here. So we're just looking at a T90 insulation and a TW75 insulation. So the rule for that is 400414. Let's go to that quickly. So 400414. There we go. And passive conductors of different temperature readings installed in the same raceway shall be determined on the basis of the conductor having the lowest temperature rating. Okay, so keep that in mind that the lowest temperature rating, in this case, TW75, uh, <laughs> I don't like using this word anymore, it will trump the, uh, the 90 degrees. Um, keep in mind also for 15, the opacity of the conductors added to the raceway and the opacity of the conductors already in the raceway shall be determined in accordance with the applicable subrules. So if you start to draw, like say you have um, TW75 conductors in the raceway and you want to add some T90s there, well, those T90s are going to have to be derated because they're in the same conduit as TW75. So watch the, uh, the insulation rating of the conductors in existing raceways as well. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, at this example, guys. Um, so let's go to, uh, to table two. All right, table two here. Uh, let's see, we got uh, copper conductors, right? So first question is, is it copper aluminum? Where are you looking at copper? Is it free air or a waste raceway or a cable? Uh, this one's gonna be a raceway. It's stated that it's an EMT conduit there. Uh, so we're gonna go to table two. Okay, once we're in table two, uh, we're going to use the lower temperature rating of the insulation, right? So the lowest is the TW75. So we are in the 75 degree uh, column here. And we're looking at number 10s and number 12s. So we got uh, number 10s being 35 and number 12s being uh, being 25. Okay, so those are our base ampacities. Um, if we only had three conductors in the conduit, but in this case we have six conductors, right? So uh, we gotta go to table 5C. Okay, so we have 25 and 35, which are stated right here. And that was because we use 4-004 several 14 using the lower insulation temperature rating. And now we're gonna go to table 5C we got six conductors in there, so we're going to use four to six. We're going to use 80% derating. Uh, so the 35 amps for the number 10s, those guys are only good for 28 amps max now. And for the number 12s, we had 25 amps, but now that we have six conductors in that conduit, then 5C is saying that we only have 80% of that max ampacity. So our number 12s are now only good for 20 amps there. Okay, so 
this just highlights the fact that you know be careful when you're putting conductors into the same pipe uh, the insulation rating of the lowest uh, in the lowest temperature rating will determine uh, which column of tables one through four I guess tables two and four that you're using there okay so hopefully everything's cool with uh, this example here let's move on to the next guy okay guys next example uh, so again multiple insulation ratings in the same conduit um, so you're most likely or hopefully going to run the same uh, insulation ratings. This is, these are just examples. And again, uh, we're not talking about the terminations being only good for 75. We're just talking about different insulation uh, temperature ratings now. So second example here, uh, we've got a 50 amp hot tub and an outdoor 20 amp GFCI plug circuit going to be run on the same PVC conduit. Hot tubs fed with two number six RW90 insulation. Uh, the G GFCI is fed with two number 12 THHN 75 degrees. Both are fed with copper conductors, 600 volt rating. Uh, install area has an expected ambient temperature of no greater than 30 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look at this one, guys. Uh, so both are copper. Uh, this should say PVC conduit. Let's change that. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, table two. And we're going to look at uh, the number sixes, right? So we got two number sixes and we got two number 12s. And we're in the 75 degree column, right? Because uh, the number 12s are THHN uh, and those THHNs are only rated for 75 degrees max there. So we're in the 75 degree uh, column. We're in uh, table two because we're in PVC conduit. Uh, and we're going to look at number six and number 12. So number six is going to be good for 65 amps and number 12 is going to be good for 25 amps. Okay, so those values are seen here. And again, the rule that stated that it was 4.004 sub rule of 14. Okay, uh, no worries about ambient temperature, right? Nothing's going to be greater than 30 degrees, uh, but we do have uh, multiple conductors in the same conduit. So it looks like we have four conductors in that conduit there. So uh, that rule is 40041C that states that we have to make use of table 5C. So 25 and 65 would be fine if we didn't have more than three. We have more than three, so we're gonna have to go to table 5C. And for 5C, we've got four conductors in there. Uh, so we're again, we're gonna have to make use of the 80% rule there. So the 65 amps that we had for the number sixes is now reduced down to 52 amps. And for the number 12, the 25 amps is now reduced down to 20 amps max there. Okay, so hopefully everybody's cool with these guys. Again, not necessarily real world examples. Uh, we're just talking about, you know, the maximum ampacity of these conductors. We still have to talk about the fact that most terminations are at 75 degrees. This one's fine because we've got 75 degree column that we made use of, right? We didn't make use of the 90 degree uh, column there. Okay, hopefully everybody's cool with this guy. Let's go on to uh, one more example here. Okay, last example for uh, for this guy, for this video, is uh, we're gonna have two things going on. We got more than three conductors in the waste weight and an ambient temperature over 30 degrees. Again, I've said it a thousand times, uh, terminations are gonna be at 75 degrees, uh, so we are most likely not gonna be able to make use of the 90 degree column there. Uh, but let's take a look at this one where we have um, conductors that are assumed not to terminate within 1.2 meters of the equipment. Uh, and we got two things going on. We got more than three conductors and we have an ambient temperature above 30 degrees. So uh, this example is three number eights and three number sixes in the same conduit. Um, they are RW90 insulation, 600 volt rating. They run an EMT conduit. Um, and they're running an area uh, where the expected ambient temperature is going to be 37 degrees. Okay, so we've got six conductors in the pipe and we've got ambient temperature above 30 degrees at 37 there. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys uh, in the same steps. So first thing is a copper or aluminum. It's copper. Okay, is it running free air, raceway or cable? This one's in a raceway, EMT conduit. So table two. Uh, and we've got number eights and we've got number sixes here, okay? Uh, they're both RW90 insulations, so we're going to be in this column here. We're in the 90 degree column, 
Okay, again, this is not really real world because terminations are uh, usually rated at 75, so we would have to usually use the 75, right? This is use, using this nomenclature that conductors are assumed not to terminate within 1.2 meters of any equipment. Okay, let's take a look at our number eights and number sixes. Number eights are good for 55, number sixes are good for 75, uh, but that would be if we had only three conductors in the pipe. Uh, and if our ambient temperature was below 30 degrees. Okay, so those are stated here, 55 and 75. Uh, so there's no hard and fast rule as to which one you do next, right? You can do uh, 5C or 5A, right? You're multiplying by the two uh, correction factors. You're still gonna have the same answer if you went to 5A first and then 5C. Okay, but I just chose to do 5C first. Uh, so we've got more than three conductors in the conduit. Uh, we've got three, six, right? So if we go to five C, uh, we got four to six. So we got 80% of the ampacity there. So our number eights were good for 55, but now we've got six conductors in there. So now the 55 is now reduced down to 44 amps. Uh, the 75 amps for our number sixes uh, is now reduced down to 60 amps. Okay, so we have the correction factor for, um, for, num for six, conductors in the conduit. Now we also have to correct for the fact that we're at um, above 30 degrees, right? We're at, uh, we're at 37 degrees here. So let's take a look at uh, 5A. Okay, so for 5A, we've got 90 degree insulation rating. Uh, and then careful with this one, don't get pinched with this. Uh, the temperature is 37 degrees, right? So we actually have to use the 40 degree column there. And where those guys intersect, it looks like we're gonna have 91% of our ampacity. So these values here that we had from table 5C correction, 44 amps times 0.91 is gonna give us 40.04 amps for our number eights. And then the 60 amps that we had for our number sixes, it's now reduced again to 91% of 60 amps, giving us 54.6 amps maximum. So hopefully this helps in that we've got a couple of additional things in that we had two different types of insulation temperature readings in the same pipe. Uh, and then we had multiple things going on on this example where we had more than three conductors and we had an ambient temperature above 30 degrees. All right, guys, hopefully this uh, video helped. If you did, give it a like uh, and keep going on with the, uh, the playlist. Uh, well, we got to talk about that uh, that fact that termination temperatures are usually 75 degrees. So that'll most likely be the next video in the playlist. All right, guys, see you in the next one.